Hello friends, in this video, we will discuss that how we can take iOS backup of Cisco router. Cisco iOS is a operating system for Cisco router and switch. So watch the video and learn to take iOS backup of Cisco router and save on TFTP server or PC running TFTP server. So as you can see in image, console cable is from serial port of Windows PC is connected to console port of router. If you have not any serial port in your system, then you can use USB to serial converter and connect to console port of router. We have used another Ethernet cable from PC LAN interface to router interface. Ethernet link is used to transfer file from router to TFTP server. So let's move to our logical topology. Logical topology works same as physical topology. So to take backup of router, connect PC with router with console cable and open terminal to access router console. We also connect Ethernet cable from router gig 0 slash 0 interface to PC. Router is just booted up. So now first check the flash of the router and find out the iOS name in flash. So to check flash you need to type show flash and then colon and then press enter. You can see that there are lots of files in flash in real enterprise grade router. So press enter key until you get file start with iOS. In this case I am using router in virtual environment. So I need to find file with file name start with VIOS. So now we know the file name that need to copy from router to TFTP server. Now the next step is to enable router gig 0 slash 0 interface and assign IP on interface. So first we have to check if any IP address is configured on any interface. And you can see that there is no IP addresses configured on any interface so let's configured IP address on gig 0 slash 0 interface. So to configure IP address, go to the configuration mode, and then go to interface configuration, and assign IP address as 192.168.10.10, and subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. Don't forget to apply no shutdown command on interface, because by default all interface in Cisco router are in disabled state. Interface gig 0 slash 0 is now up, so in next step we will assign IP address to our Windows PC, connected to router gig 0 slash 0 interface. So let's log into Windows PC and assign IP in same subnet, so router and Windows PC can communicate. So in my case, I am using 192.168.10.20 as IP address, and mask 255.255.255.0. So we have assigned IP address to our Windows PC. Now try to ping router interface from PC. So we are able to ping router interface. In this video, I am using TFTPD application as TFTP server. This is a free application so you download it from internet and can use. So open TFTPD and it start working. Now you system act as TFTP server. So now move to router console and check if router is able to ping to Windows PC. As we see that router is not able to ping Windows PC, but Windows PC is able to ping router. Actually firewall of Windows PC is turned on. So we have to turn off Windows firewall to allow ping. So disable the Windows firewall and check if we able to ping from router to PC. Yes, now we are able to ping PC from router. Okay, now go to the configuration mode and allow TFTP traffic on interface gig 0 slash 0.
So in final command, type the command copy, space flash and colon, because we need to copy from flash, then type tftp and colon, because we have to copy to tftp server, and then press enter. Router is now ask for source file name, so copy file name and paste, and press enter. Now router ask for tftp server IP, so type 192.168.1020 because we are using our Windows PC as tftp server. In next step, router ask for destination file name, so press enter if you do not want to change file name, or type file name, and press enter. Now you can see that router has started copy iOS to tftp server. It may take 15 minutes to 1 hours depends on iOS size. So you can see that iOS is successfully copied on TFTP server. So let's go to Windows PC and verify. Ok now we can see that file is now available in our Windows PC. You can use any host to take backup of Cisco iOS. You can also use Mac OS, or Linux. But TFTP service must be running on those hosts to take backup. So in this video, you have learned that how we can take backup of a Cisco router iOS. For more video, please like this video and subscribe our channel. You can also visit to www.softwareumpire.in.